let's see what it's looking like now that they got the street cleaned up i uh i haven't been able, i wasn't able to get down this road yesterday um it was all blocked off it looks like there's still a bit of um block offs but we only need to go we really just need to go over there that's where the first cleanup is so as long as i can get there i'm pretty pretty stoked about that but uh it looks like the boulevard i mean all these these buildings and stuff they all had three feet of water um i guess through the middle here and um you know it flooded really bad so uh we'll take this uh turn and uh we'll see let's see oh it looks like we can go oh. so it looks like we can get uh over on that left side today or right side i guess we're on the left now um so we'll pull up to this house and uh, start cleaning up right, i guess so over at the the first one just a lot of um the dirt has dried up you can see a little watermark um so probably only had about two feet over here still a little bit but uh you know tons of stuff from every house about to uh i should go around hey mister and people look at they got a trampoline imagine just waking up you got a new trampoline so uh, i wish i wish more people like live down here so i could hey how you doing you need anybody to clean up your house but uh it is what it is i got a few so um yeah i guess i'll just start start the clean up here um decent little storm so yeah i guess we'll just just start shoveling look at that some windshield wiper fluid and uh yeah, a lot of trash, a lot of trash, so I guess I'll get my gloves on and get to it. The truck and trailer back through, uh, you know, a couple of these poles and stuff. Let's go check out the right side and uh, we'll see. I will probably bag all this trash separate, um, you know, just in like little bags or whatnot. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, really not not too too bad but uh definitely have to get a little pressure washing and stuff so all right we'll start cleaning up walk over to the corner i don't know if you guys can see oh you can kind of see the flashing blue light but uh I'm trying to get my helper to come over and uh he said they they didn't let him down he, he just lives over in surfside right over there so um I figured it would be perfect. He could come over here and just meet me. And um, we'll just head down down there and do the nice cleanups. But uh, I don't know. We'll see if he can get over here. I, I told him just talk to the police and see what they say. But, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. All right, real quick. Um, I left Dylan back over at the house, uh, which is really nice when I get to work with him because, um, like, I can leave him anywhere around any customer. Um, and he's not gonna say anything stupid. He's not gonna do anything stupid. Um, he's just gonna be respectful and like the whole time he's at, at work. So it's super nice. Uh, I just booked like three more cleanups. Um, really just going around talking to people. Uh, I uh, One is a lawn and I just called her up, said, hey, uh, checked out your house. I could clean it up for this much money. And she said, yes um 225 on that one and then uh, i got another one for 600 and then uh, i got another one for uh, 600 again and uh, there might be a few additionals on there too but i literally got those from just like knocking on people's door like remembering their names or something like that so um yeah worst they can say is no you know all right move on to the next one but uh, i gotta swing down here uh, go collect uh, some money from a pressure wash I did um, a week ago or something like that. So uh, the homeowner's in town, and I was like, I was like, man, how'd it look? I bet that house looked great, right? And he was like, oh, I, I, I don't really know. We didn't see it. Um, they're right on the water. I, I'm sure the place got destroyed. So I just felt kind of bad after being like, oh man, how'd it look? And the house is just destroyed. But I did a good job with the pressure wash. So 
I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna let me use the bathroom. Smokes. It is flooded. All right, so I got the first driveway done on uh, homeowners were out, you know, doing their thing all day, so I didn't record nothing. Um, this guy, he came over, he said, yo, you might as well do this since you're already here. So I'm going to blow it off, and uh, this one will be much easier because there's places for the water to go over in this one. But over at that one, the driveway and everything is the low spot. Oh, it looks like we might have a flat tire, too. So that looks great. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, kind of does feel like it, but I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll see. So this thing's pretty, um, pretty weighed down as you can see. Um, nah, you know what, I bet it's just the way it jacks up, and uh, so yeah, but the wash truck been working out good. Um, I'll show you the pressure washer, I did get the belt cover on it, um, you know, I'll show you right here. So now we do have a belt cover. Um, uh, yeah, let's see. It looks like there's a little bit of water over there. Let's see where it's probably leaking on. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's leaking out of this, this thing. It looks like probably coming from the filter. So overall, this thing's been nothing but a money maker. So keep on, keep on cleaning. So basically, all I've been doing with these driveways is just the ball valve, and I've just been brushing them off, so I already did all this. I mean, pretty quick with this, this machine, wet it down first, and uh, just push it along. I don't, I'm trying not to use any of the tips, just because like, I don't want to mark it up. We're not cleaning it, we're just moving debris off of it, you know, so. It's like almost 5 o'clock, I would like to get home. I started cleaning up at like 6 in the morning, so um, I'll definitely catch you, you know, at the next one or whatever, but let me just knock this one out real quick. Alright guys, out at the dump, um, as you can see I probably, they were, I don't know if they were closed over the weekend, um, I think they were, just cause they don't even have a, a little bulldozer guy, so normally you back in. And you, you know, you, you'd back like down to the main pile, but I guess I'm gonna unload it right here. So we'll see how that goes. So we're back yesterday. Um, did some cleanups over at uh, Red Roof and to the left of Red Roof. And now we're over here. Um, this is pretty big, so I, I got the skill saw out. Uh, I'm gonna cut it up. There's not too much debris over here, but I am gonna um, just spray off this driveway. I'll probably blow it off and then uh, you know get the pressure washer out and knock this out so i'll um i'll turn it back on when i finished up looks like a little debris over here but nothing major um so yeah get to it just starting to blow off the clean it up real quick with the pressure washer once I finish this so catch you guys in the few. grader to clear the road you can see the edges now look at this thing it's a little street sweeper all right I just pulled up to the uh, next cleanup uh, it's you know pretty pretty hefty um, I think we'll probably go oh, yeah it looks like we'll leave all this stuff in place um, they got that zip tied up and then uh, we'll take out all this stuff. And then if we can sneak into the back. Oh, this is a fence. This is some.